Today we'll be returning to Grotesque's Deadly World. Before we get into this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that you might want to tune in for the next couple of episodes because I'm planning to hit you guys with Minecraft videos for the next couple of days. But anyways, with that out of the way, at the end of the last episode, unfortunately, just as I was finding my way out of that cave, I somehow managed to fall out of the waterfall and, um, yeah, my stuff is just kind of lying at the bottom of a cave right now. So instead of relying on the waterfall this time, I'm gonna build my way out. I'm taking 31 cobblestone and 18 dirt. I'm hoping that that's gonna be enough to to, like build my way out of that cave. I literally don't have any other food or any other tools on me so I'm hoping that I'm able to get there and get my stuff before I starve. I'm also hoping that I'm going in the right direction right now. I haven't made a Minecraft video in like almost a week so I'm kind of forgetting the direction that I went. I'm pretty sure this is the right way. But before we get too far into the video I just seriously wanted to thank you guys again. You know I know I've said this a couple of times at this point but the love on this Minecraft series has been absolutely insane. I cannot thank you guys enough. I'm already getting the feeling that we're going in the wrong direction but I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed. Cross. All I know is I'm looking for a really big and wide open lake. As soon as I see that, I know that I'm going in the right direction. I'm pretty sure this is the spot right here. I am hoping that this is the spot. I'm pretty sure we sat the boat right down here and then, uh, yeah, I remember this. There's like a fork in the road. I'm pretty sure we went to the left. I am determined. I will get back my stuff. You know, I was talking about maybe changing my skin and, you know, getting one that fits the buff Asian boy aesthetic a bit better, you know, between the buffness, the Asianness, the boyishness, and the red hair and all that, you know, everything that makes buff Asian boy what he is. No, no, I might hold off for a bit. I'm actually kind of rocking with the spider skin. It does look pretty cool and it still fits the black and red aesthetic. I am praying that my stuff didn't despawn. I don't know what the timer is in world for your stuff to despawn, but I'm just hoping that it's still there. You know, if it was at any other point in the world where it was just like stone and iron, it wouldn't be a big deal but dude my first diamond pickaxe along with like a few other diamonds are down there I really need those right now I'm also gonna go ahead and collect a sugar cane because I found out that I'm gonna need a total of like 135 to make the amount of bookcases that I'll need to like surround the enchantment table for max enchantments that didn't even make any sense <laughs> you know what I mean though to like increase the RNG of the enchantments that we get but anyway uh, I'm pretty sure this is the waterfall we were at. I honestly have no idea. If it wasn't this one, then I think it might be, like, another level lower. Hello, glow squids. I don't know if these guys are friendly or not, but I kind of want to get one as a pet. I've always wanted to do that in survival, like, build, like, a giant aquarium and put, like, a bunch of squids and glow squids and other, like, sea creatures in there. I don't know. I just, I always thought that would be cool to have in, like, my basement or something. All right, well, here's the problem. Either my stuff despawned or I'm just at the wrong spot. I could have swore that this is where we went, right? Because I was like, oh, look at that. There's, like, a waterfall or a way out of here. Maybe it was a bit lower. See, the other troubling part is that I literally don't have any torches on me either, so I cannot see a thing. Like, sure, there's some other torches about this place, but, like, for the most part, I mean, it's still really freaking dark in here, and I'm, I'm afflicted. Oh, is that a warden? Oh, no. Dude, I do not want to mess with you. Please, please, please. Oh my gosh, this is all of my stuff, too. <gasps> Wait. Oh no, I died by lava. Is some of my stuff in the lava? I'm actually really sad right now. I think I lost some of my stuff to the lava and there was a warden literally chasing me right now. No, 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 no. Warden, please, please, please. I just, I don't, I don't want to mess with you, bro. Bro, I want my stuff. I think my diamonds and everything are just lost. Dude, I, oh my gosh, I actually want to cry. There is no way. I really want my stuff back. Please, please, warden. Just let me get my stuff back. I'm going to craft another boat. We're going back out there. I really want to get my stuff. I don't get it. What does this warden want from me? I never did anything to him, man. I was just, I was just trying to mine some diamonds. But I guess from now on, if we go mining, I'm probably just gonna stick to strip mining if this is what's in the caves nowadays i don't even think it's worth exploring the caves anymore maybe one day when i get a beacon and like i don't know full netherite tools and armor but otherwise man this isn't worth it honestly he can keep my iron and all that stuff if we can at least retrieve like my diamond pickaxe like at the very least I will be okay with that, but I would preferably want my diamond pickaxe and at least one of my diamonds to make an enchantment table. It's even worse now because it's literally the middle of the night. I am terrified. I have no armor, no food, no tools. If I get up here and any mobs try to mess with me, I'm just, I'm gonna be dead. You know, in Grotesque Deadly World, I try to befriend everyone and everything, but the warden, I don't really have any desire to befriend him. In fact, he could just kind of like, I don't know, disappear or there's a lot of existence for my world and I really wouldn't mind. Or should I say, I really wouldn't mind. Get it? Minecraft? <laughs> Alright, this time I'm just, I'm gonna take the boat down. Hopefully I don't, hopefully I don't take fall damage in the boat. Uh, okay. I think I'm still safe. Alright, boat. Come on, turn around. Come on. Drop down in the water. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Fall down! Things going good for me is simply not canonical. Why, John Hamilton? Why, trucker? Why am I just a vessel for bad luck? Well, I guess I'll go to sleep. I 
Is it even worth going back at this point? Is there, is there, are they even gonna be spawned in anymore? Like, I'm sure all of my stuff despawned at this point, right? I mean, I'll, I'll try one, one last time. One, one last attempt. If I do not succeed this time, then it's pretty safe to assume that if my stuff already isn't despawned, then it most definitely will be at this point. This is a tale of one man, one boat, and one broken heart. This broken heart can only be repaired if he sees his diamonds reappear in his inventory. I really hope I can get my stuff back this time. But at the very least, at least I learned a lesson. You can indeed take fall damage in a boat. All right, this time we just gotta be quick. I already know that I have like multiple boats sitting around here at this point. So we're just, we're gonna get out of the boat and immediately we're gonna sprint for my stuff. We're not gonna hesitate. We're gonna go down through the waterfall. And hopefully as we descend through the waterfall, we should pick up some of my items if they're still there. So if memory serves me correct, we just gotta go over this way towards the torches and then there should be a waterfall right over here. And and oh my gosh, wait, is that actually my stuff? Okay, here's all my stuff. I'm almost dead, but it's okay. I just, I need to get my stuff back really quick. We're gonna go ahead, eat this steak. Come on, come on, heal, 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 heal. And then immediately just go through, get as much of my stuff as I can do. Uh, we have three diamonds. My diamond pickaxe still isn't in my inventory though. And I cannot see, I don't have any torches. I really just want my diamond pickaxe. I have no idea where it's at. I think my diamond pickaxe may have despawned, but I honestly have no idea. The warden is right behind me as well. So I'm trying to be careful. I do not want to get hit. I was told something about if you put wool on the ground, then the warden can't hear you because apparently he's blind and he only reacts to sound. I don't know. Honestly, I have three diamonds. I think I might be best off just to get out of here. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I have 64 couple deep slate. I'll come back. There's more diamonds in the world somewhere. At least I have some of my stuff. We're leaving. I have no idea where I am. I can't see anything. Okay, uh, there's light up there. I'm not exactly sure how to get over there. I'm just, I'm avoiding the warden at all costs. Maybe I should like start bridging over that way. All right, I have eight torches on me. Okay, I, 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 I can see very little, but you know, at least I can see now. All right, I'm just gonna kind of bridge up over here. Just kind of do one of these. Still can't see. Gotta put down torches. I'm not risking my life. I'm doing everything in my power to be as careful as possible so I can ensure that we can actually make it home with some of, with some of our stuff. No, wait, no. Oh, gosh. Why? 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 Why is everything always trying to kill me in this place? Yay, I get to make another boat and go get my stuff again. But at the very least, my stuff isn't sitting next to a warden anymore. So you know what? That's something. I honestly didn't think that me getting my stuff back would require an entire episode's length to do. But, you know, I severely underestimated the warden and his power. Is anyone else getting deja vu right now? I love how each time we come back, you can just see an additional boat. We have a boat out here. There's a boat sitting in here and now i'll add another boat to the collection <laughs> all right time to be as careful as possible going through here and see now it's gonna be even trickier to find my stuff because i truthfully have no idea where it's at i'm pretty sure we were over this way by all of this like bright side yes okay i can see where i was bridging before so we just need to come over here i think we have a mining adventure ahead of us next episode because we'll need to recoup some of our iron our armor some of our tools all right so here's one of my torches that i placed and then uh waterfall is this where I was before. I'm not seeing my stuff. Maybe, wait, did I did I die somewhere else? Hey, I got some of my stuff. Oh, okay, here it all is. Uh, at least I think so. Yes, my diamonds! Okay, the, at this point, screw everything else. Just the diamonds. Fine. You know what? I lost the pickaxe. I can accept that. My goal originally was to get back my pickaxe and my diamonds, but you know what? So be it. If I can only get back the three diamonds, fine. I, at least I have them. It's enough to make a diamond pickaxe, which means that I'll be able to get obsidian. And there's bound to be at least, you know, one diamond diamond somewhere out there in the world so then I can make the enchantment table once I get the obsidian that I need. And let's be honest, if I'm going to be going mining again, once I'm at a point of where I'm low enough to find like naturally made obsidian, then I'll probably also be low enough to find some diamonds. So it is what it is. I can live with that. And if it sounds like I'm trying my hardest to cope with the losses, it's because I am. Anyways, with that being said, I did the unthinkable. I did the impossible. I actually made it out of this cave with some of my stuff. We have 27 raw gold, three diamonds, a block of gold, no iron, two cooked pork chops, a little bit of wood, 64 dirt, some lapis, and uh, an unbreaking one gold shovel. But if you know anything about golden tools, it doesn't matter if you have unbreaking on it. It's going to be gone in 30 seconds anyway. I mean, that's my guess anyway, because we tried to test out a golden pickaxe in one of the previous episodes, and it literally broke in 20 seconds. So I'm just assuming unbreaking would, you know, extend that to maybe like 25, 30 seconds if we're lucky. Now, here's the funny part. This is my first time going in reverse and actually making it out of the cave and trying to find my way back home. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be fun trying to find my way back. Honestly, I don't even care about the fact that I had to sit here and struggle for like the last hour. The fact that I'm sitting here holding these diamonds makes it all worth it in my heart. Please 
please, please, please tell me that I'm going in the right direction. Yes, I can see the house off in the distance. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. Cal one and two, chicken, cheapy one, two, and three. Hello, guys. I'm so happy to see all of you. Listen, guys, I know it's nighttime. We should all be sleeping right now, but look, boys, look what I brought back. John Hamilton and Trucker, we are rich. We have three diamonds, which is enough to make a diamond pickaxe. This may not be the first diamond pickaxe we've made in this world. That one can never be recovered, but this one, this is the start of a new beginning, my friends. Now the possibilities are endless. Now we can get obsidian to go to the nether. We can get obsidian and more diamonds to make an enchantment table. This also allows us to get netherite, so the possibilities are truly endless now. Anyways, I'm sleepy. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm, I'm really tired. It's been a long couple of days. Anyways, that's where we're gonna call that that for this episode. Like I said, I'll be hitting you guys with Minecraft videos for the next couple days, so you guys can look forward to those. But anyway, as always, a shout out to the Patreons and channel members, Karma's Fagram, a little bit of tab, big data, Maddie, Chalupa, Source, Rex, Ray, Zach, Polo, Ray, Dewap, Shirley, Moss, Bianca, Spurger, Torrid, Drippy, Son, Metal, Ask, King, Kuna, Magic, Mason, Irvin, Chihuahua, 15, Flimson, 1, Aaron Reynolds, and Unknown. Thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day. Stay beautiful. I love you all. Peace.